while I was undergoing my internship program after medical school, a four-month-old baby girl, the only child of a 29-year-old first-time mother, was rushed into my hospital looking very weak and pale. Now, the child had diarrhea, and the mother had been managing the situation at home for days, partly because she thought it was nothing serious, and partly because she could not afford a hospital. When the symptoms persisted, the child was eventually brought to my hospital, but unfortunately, it was too late. The baby was already severely dehydrated, and she died just five minutes after she was admitted. The loss of this child was even more painful to me because the mother was my own cousin. In Nigeria, 2,300 children under five years old and 145 women die every day, mostly due to preventable causes. Now, most of these maternal and child deaths in Nigeria and indeed Africa are due to a chronic lack of access to quality health information and medical personnel. These are problems which disproportionately affect those in poverty. Now, a wise man once said, poverty is not just a lack of money. It is not having the capability to realize one's full potential as a human being. Poverty has truly devastating effects on any individual, but it affects women the most. For starters, poverty is a major cause of ill health in women and a barrier to accessing healthcare. Poverty in women is also disproportionately linked to poor maternal and child health outcomes. Now, as a medical doctor in Nigeria for the past four years, I have seen firsthand the problems that mothers face accessing health services and reaching hospitals. But while Nigeria may be a country with an appalling level of maternal and child mortality, it is also a place where a high value is placed on communication. We have 150 million registered mobile SEM phone lines in Nigeria, which is the seventh highest of all the countries in the world. So in early 2015, I decided to try and use mobile technology to fight our terrible maternal and child death toll. I co-founded a mobile health company and launched a mobile platform called Omomi, which means my child in the Yoruba language of southwestern Nigeria. Now, Omomi is an innovation that is empowering mothers with relevant maternal and child health information so that they can make better health decisions, improve their health outcomes, and stay alive. Omomi can reach every mobile device via the app, the website, or even SMS. Omomi includes tracking tools on immunization and child growth, information on breastfeeding and food supplementation, as well as games which users can play with other mothers on the platform. Now, Omomi has an active community of over 31,000 mothers. Using Omomi, mothers can connect to doctors on our online community. They can ask any question concerning their health and that of their children to a pool of over 25 doctors, eight of whom are on our payroll. And they will get a response from a doctor within minutes. Now, in Nigeria, there's a popular saying that health is wealth. More than ever before, women need to be empowered with the right information to stay healthy. That way, they can live long enough to innovate their own way out of poverty. Thank you very much.